Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to draw a circle inside a triangle. So that it's inscribed in the triangle, so that the edge of the circle touches the three sides, but not the corners of the, of the triangle. All right, how do we do that? Well, we need to find that midpoint so that we can draw the, the circle in such a way that it touches the three sides. To do that, we go to each of the three points, and of course, you need a compass. And you make the compass in such a way that you can make a little tick mark over here and a tick mark over here. So you start on one of the corners, then you move over to this where they cross, you make another little tick mark this way, and then you come over here, you make another little tick mark right there. So what you can do now is draw a line from this corner to where those two meet, and that line will exactly divide this angle into two equal angles. So we can do that like this. Let me try that again. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's my first line. I do that again with the second corner right there. So I grab my compass. And I draw, <clears throat> I draw a line over here. And I come over here and I draw a line this way. Then I come to this point. I make a little arc in this direction. I come over here. I make an arc, oh, I'll have to make that one a little bit longer, otherwise they don't cross. Here we go. All right, so now I can draw a line from this corner to where those two meet. And again, this line will divide this angle into two exactly equal angles. So I have one more corner to go, so I come over here. I have to switch hands. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Actually, I'm probably better off using my right hand because I'm right-handed. So I come over here to the corner, draw a little tick mark here, and come over here, draw a little tick mark there. Then I come over here, and I draw a small little arc. I come over here, and I draw a small little arc. And again, where those two cross right here, if I then connect this corner to that point right there, there we go, then I divide this angle into exactly two equal angles. Got a little off there, but I'm close enough. Now notice that those three lines cross each other right here at this point. That would be the center of the triangle, which now also becomes the center of the circle. So finally, you grab your compass, you adjust the size of your compass, so that if I then draw a circle, it would exactly come to the edge of the circle, right, uh, edge of the triangle right here, the edge of the triangle right there, and then down here to the edge of the triangle. Of course, I gotta be careful here that this doesn't fall apart on me. All right, let me try that again. So I come up here, draw this, draw this, come around and draw this, and it doesn't look like it, oop, come around like this. All right, well, I'm a little off, but that's okay because this is like actually a very primitive compass. If everything was done just right, just perfect, it would have been exactly so that the three sides of the triangle would touch the circle. The reason why it didn't quite work is because my hand drawing was just slightly off, and because of that, I guess my center should have been more, a little bit further here than here, and probably off by a, about three or four millimeters. If I'd had it just right, I would have been exactly in there. So that's how you do that, even though it didn't come out quite correctly, it's still the correct method. And if you have a real compass, you should be able to get really close to that. And that's how it's done. 